Hello, ninth graders. This is Ms. Natalie, your English teacher. I hope you are doing well, safe, and sound. In this tutorial, I will discuss the material included for the second week. So let's start. Now, you will sit for the pretest on the first day of the second week of this week. So let's start with the main objectives. Um, of course, by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to understand your current level of knowledge and skills in the subject matter and recognize areas of strength and improvement. Now, for the pretest, uh, you don't, you do not need to study for it. There is no specific material uh, that you will go over and well be ready for the exam. All you can do is go on this BC page, everything is included for you, the word wall, the essential terms and other words, some tutorials that explain the meaning of a, of a pretest, or we can also call it a diagnostic test, um, some examples, right? Some samples, right? If you click here on this image, it will take you to a website that provides you with samples, sample questions. Um, and also, if you take the self-assessment, which is, we all do acknowledge the fact that practice makes perfect. So you just click on this image. It will, uh, it will take to a website that provides you with topic ideas, writing tips, and outline examples for the pretest. So all you can do is to go on this page and practice, okay? Because the pretest is all about um, evaluating or I would say English skills, right? So yeah, so please just go on this page, go over the activities, read the word wall and just practice, yeah? Now, on the second day of this week, we will start with our first um, grammar topic, which is subject verb agreement. We are going to, to um, uh, focus on, of course, uh, various exercises after we explain the rules and rules of this lesson. So as for the word wall, the main terms that you need to acquire are subject verb agreement, singular verbs, plural verbs, singular subject, and plural subjects. If you click here, you can um, access um, the ebook interactive lesson. Um, it provides you with an explanation and some exercises or activities. You also have, you can watch the tutorials that explain um, the topic. We also have here the interactive activity aligned with the uh, video. Um, you need to compose original sentences on a paper, swap papers with your classmates, underline the singular subjects in uh, purple and plural subject in yellow. So we will talk about this activity in details uh, during the lesson. You also have another video that explains subject verb agreement. You also have the ebook um, activity. Um, Savas is a perfect uh, source uh, for such exercises. As for the third day, we are going to continue um, discussing the grammar topic of subject verb agreement. Um, we are going to be introduced to more essential um, key terms such as irregular plural nouns. You also have a PPT where you can access, um, you can just click on the image, it will take you to a PPT uh, that discusses subject verb agreement and its rules. You also have interactive activities um, that uh, in a sort of a discussion of course uh, aligned with the previous tutorial. Uh, you also have the ebook, uh, other activities to work on. Okay, now on the fourth day, one, two, three, yeah, the fourth day, uh, we are going to start with the first, um, I would say, literature, Mr. Mahir, literature um, class, please, 
We are going to start with um, a radio broadcast titled The Key to Disaster Survival, Friends and Neighbors. We are going to um, tackle the first read and comprehension check. As for the lesson objective, you'll be, by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to present the previously assigned task, which highlights the first read of the radio broadcast. So um, on the third day, where we are going to discuss subject verb agreement, uh, I will give you the task to work on the first read and comp comprehension check. Um, that are situated on this BC page. So you need to come prepared, right? I'm going to ask you questions, you're going to present your work, and so on. Um, so as for the second objective, you will be able to work on the comprehension check while listening to the radio broadcast. As for the uh, key terms, you have media radio broadcast, media vocab, first and comprehension questions, friends and neighbors, presentations, you know, essential key terms you will find the attached uh, radio broadcast right here. Um, uh, of course, you are going, again, you're gonna present your work that is asked from you from the previous day. Um, and then uh, after you present, you are going to continue, or you're gonna work, sorry, on the comprehension check. Okay. Now, on the fifth day, we are going to continue uh, working on the radio broadcast. We are going to work specifically on the close read. Um, you will be able to listen to the radio, the radio broadcast again while working on the close review, just to uh, freshen your mind, and analyzing the media close read questions. Um, You'll be also be able to express how the radio broadcast affected you by evaluating the points of view that people documented in the show, their reasoning and their explanation. It's going to be more of a discussion. Um, so yeah, here's the close read questions that you are going to work on in the class. And then these are the discussion questions that we are going to discuss together. Um, yeah, that is it for this week. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.